uh, I said that assessment seems to be crucial in any teaching or learning process. Any innovation in this field requires changes in assessment approaches, but assessment is even more complicated when in learning uh, situations. Therefore, one of the main challenges of higher education institutions consists of taking advantage of emerging technologies, such as facial recognition, typing patterns, or anti-plagiarism, to turn the assessment into a conventional procedure integrated into the day-to-day -day university's performance. E-learning may be personalized through assessment. That's the major message of my short talk. So while formative assessment is assessment for learning, summative assessment is the assessment of learning results. Advantages of formative assessment, um, both students and professors may be more responsive. Uh, formative assessment based on, on personalized feedback, not personal, but personalized. Formative assessment methods are very well supported by e-learning platforms, but your staff has to be taught how to use them. These two first stages is to know, so this test try to know if you know what you need to know, and if you know how to tell about it, because you can be asked to, to present an essay, for instance. But the new strategies should focus more on performance, as you mentioned, too. And it would be about to show how to do it, and more specifically, do it. Strategies and the assessment for learning are going to share learning expectations with, with the students, between themselves and with the students and the, and the professors. They have to try eliciting evidence, because this is one of the most important things. So would we have evidence of that learning? How will we do it? because any kind of assessment has to provide a good feedback to the students in order to be really productive. TESLA is an adaptive uh, trust-based assessment system for learning. We are just finishing uh, the, the platform. We are testing right now. I am going to explain it uh, in a few minutes. Um, TESLA is an action plan. It, was, uh, it, it is under the Horizon 2020 program. Um, it's an innovation action with large-scale pilot. That means that we have to, say, to test this system not only from the technological point of view, also uh, from the legal and from the educational point of view. We have to test this with the students and learners in any kind of uh, mixed or fully virtual environments. And well, our main objective is to define and develop this e-assessment system, uh, which ensures learners' authorship and authentication. We'll try to cover the um, learning process, uh, as well as the quality, the ethical, the legal, but also the technical one. The, that's why I start me, my presentation telling what does the assessment mean. means education and means technology. So this is the session on um, benchmarking digital institutions. And I'm Paul Baxich from Cerro Consulting, and this is my colleague Antonio Texera from Universidad Abierta. Uh, and we are going to talk to you about um, uh, benchmarking in a, in a wide sense. Benchmarking, in other words, comparison can be with similar institutions, sector leaders, uh, what are called exo benchmarks, where you might benchmark your university against a company or some university in a very different country or with what are currently called game changers, a phrase uh, I think coined in this context by JISC, the UK agency, to mean various kinds of interesting small private providers. Benchmarking is about comparison. If you're so unique that no one else can compare with you, what are you wasting the management time? It reflects how a traditional university has opened itself up to uh, a new form of teaching. This is uh, one aspect. The architecture itself has changed, becoming much more flexible, much more transparent, and, and also in the learning process they have changed because they are opening the curriculum to uh, the possibility of students to complete courses or complete degrees uh, using applying um, well uh, exper learning experiences that were developed in MOOCs elsewhere, so outside of the institution and with the other kinds of mobile uh, learning experiences as well. 
the changing of the organizational culture. You can change the methods, you can change the, the technology, of course, you can change uh, a lot of things, but it's much more difficult to change the organizational culture. This will take time and uh, it doesn't happen so easily. So if you can, uh, as Paul was suggesting, cut your institution by slices, which are the main areas of expertise or, or operation, being the, can be uh, these ones, like the, the differentiating between the, the, uh, the, the access to content or the production of content, uh, the tutoring services, uh, the curation or, and the other activities, or you can slice it by departments, or you can slice it by faculties, well, or by the, the, the different kinds of uh, criteria, you can actually um, engage in a process in which your institution not only specializes in what it is really good at and be able to focus its resources in the transformation of those areas, but share with others uh, air, um, resources which cannot, uh, which are not so uh, competent in. With, for instance, you can, and this is happening already, so you can focus on the production of the content and share the tutoring with external companies, with external uh, institutions as well. The key benefits to the partner institution of this model are, one, the ability to recruit at scale with minimal impact on internal university resources. You get more students, you do not necessarily have to employ more staff. We will do that on your behalf. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, we oft offer a customised solution, an LMS that is exactly what the institution requires, not an off-the-shelf, one-size-fits-all, partial solution, but a customised technical and pedagogical solution that retains not only the university's core values, but the student experience at its heart. Um, today I would like to talk to you about peer-to-peer uh, -peer tutoring. So what we provide here with Sharing Academy is a means of connecting university students that need help with the others that can help within the same community, within, within the same university, within the same degrees, within the same classes.